have done well for my first week so far as deputy. Well, they couldn't have picked a better man for the job, Wyatt. My Wyatt Earp. So, we never would have dated if my last name was Earp. Who would be with an Earp? Temple. That sounds more dignified. More sexy. Oh. Uh -huh. do you think? See? He agrees. Well, don't tell Mrs. Earp that. I don't plan on meeting Wyatt Earp or his wife anytime soon, hon. The pickup sheriff in his car again. He says it purrs like a cat in heat. For a young hick, he's married a fine looking car. <laughs> I love you. I love me too. <laughs> Just say it. I'll text you. I was invited to this here Martinez barbecue. I had to admit, the kids kids had a hard go of it, but coming from big city and all. I hear you, and I hope that we're accepting enough for y'all to feel it right at home. I know how tough it can be to settle in. Oh, it's been just a dream. Um, Andy and Drew, they come home all the time, talk about all the friends they've been making. Well, it seems like your grandkids are not adjusting, though. Oh, they're just used to the way things were. They're, uh, you know a bit conservative in their ways. People around here don't take folks too kindly stirring the pot. Hey y'all, what are you two girls talking about? I never did understand those things. Whatever happened to people wanting to hear a voice when they converse? Oh well, it gets the job done for a quick talking. Y'all better not be poking at another critter again. Oh, come on, Miss Martinez. I bet this poor little creature wasn't bothering a soul, and you have to go stabbing its carcass like some demented murderer. You want for you and I to help out a bit, Grandma? No, darling. I'll help see to this. You just take your brother into the house and make sure he washes his hands proper. You talk funny, Grandma. And you talk like a little miscreant in dire need of a switch and a bath. Now get in the holler and wash your hands proper. That was scary. Oh, well, Bertie was gonna die anyway. People always had a fascination about death. There was once a time we were surrounded by death and nobody thought about it, not even bad an eye. There's nothing wrong with a little healthy curiosity. Yeah, healthy. What the hell are they getting into now? I hope they aren't in Michael's shed again, tearing in his tools and whatnots. Andy, go make sure those children are doing what they're supposed to do. Yes, Grandma. There's a good girl. Coop? Drew, if that's you and your hands are still dirty, you're gonna be in big trouble with me. <laughs> you married into this town, right? I mean, that's... That's what brought you into our side of the world, right? Yep. Me and Darlene met while we're stationed overseas together. We were just two dumb hicks surrounded by a bunch of old folks I didn't know what it was like growing up all po dunk. <laughs> That's some funny shit right there. Growing up all poon dunk. <laughs> Thing is though, folks growing up around here, they don't consider this a po dunk way of life. We love what we got here. I didn't mean anything by it. See, my family has been running these, uh, been sharing for these parts for three generations now. It started back in 1947. It used to be some 
old rich guy running these folks tending to their safety. But, uh, some animal came around after the war, like a carpetbagger of some sort. Came selling something, but no one remembers what anymore. Point is, when he came calling, some of our girls went missing. Yeah, I heard about that. You ever catch that son of a bitch? <laughs> yeah, that old sheriff caught that asshole. Didn't stop his lawyers from doing their job, though, and getting him freed. Some people didn't just trust the sheriff anymore after that. They saw he brought down all this press and tension on the town. And it was all for his run for governor. That's a damn shame. I mean, he went through the right process and shit, but... I mean, all that attention-hungry thing was just too much. Folks didn't abide by him walking around free, free to do his damage again. So one or two concerned citizens decided to bring justice to his front door. They didn't never find him. They only ever found a bloody chipper a couple miles away. That well, sounds like he got what we got coming. I'm glad you said that. One of them concerned folks involved decided to run for sheriff became one of the first good old boys elected official in these here parts. His son got the job, then me. So your granddaddy killed a man and got himself elected? <laughs> That's the gist of it. Point is, people need someone to get their hands dirty. They rely on these people to be the vicious beasts of the world so that they don't have to be. And that's us. That's us, baby boy. That is the real job of the given to the lawman. Unit 23 in position. 10-4-23, coming 28. Hey, Sheriff, looks like we got a report of a homicide at Officer Martinez's house. Don't ask me how it happened. Well, let's do the job, sir. Hmm. Oh, God damn! Who would do this to a little boy? Show some respect, sir. You think my goddamn language is gonna offend the body more than the fact that his bowels have vacated into his shorts? No, sir. Speaking of which, Officer Martinez, where is your uniform? I realize this is your house, but have a modicum of professionalism. We're dealing with a dead little boy. Have some respect. Yes, sir. A little tough on him. <laughs> I'm just giving him shit. It's his house. He doesn't have to, nor will he change into a damn thing. I think it's high time we start talking to the witnesses. Well... Looks like they had their way with him. Before we got here. Had their way? Hather Way? That's a pleasant way to say it. Deputy, you will keep the suspect quiet while I interview the witnesses. Now, I know this must be tough on you, Mrs. Anderson, but I need to know what you've seen. What I seen, Clarence? What I seen? What I seen is you crawling around in a diaper sucking on meat off a of rib bone. What I've seen is your parents getting married like so many other folks trying to make a life for themselves. Children raised up and out on their own. What I've never seen is a little boy barely old enough to have any sort of life killed by a stranger. I just moved to this neighborhood. I was invited to this here barbecue. I was trying to save the boy. I didn't want to hurt the boy. I could have sworn I made myself clear as to your silence. I understand, Mrs. Anderson. Do you, Clarence? Do you know what needs done? <laughs> Wait. 
Y'all arresting me? I didn't even do anything. I was trying to save the boy. I didn't want to hurt the boy. You do realize we don't have enough to take him in, right? We have him holding the victim. He has a history of sexual deviance. And he has spent time in prison. I got all I need. You sure he did? Don't much matter now. What matters is what's needed. I'm gonna go get to the car. I gotta hit the head. I'll meet you out there. Hey! Well, hello there. Are you gonna kill that man? Now, what will make you say something like that? Because he deserves it. I know he might have killed your friend, but that doesn't mean he deserves to die. He didn't kill our friend. What? We just know he doesn't belong here. What are you talking about? We can't buy but no queer trying to sell in our town. People have been trying to get rid of this fella? Are you saying that... Did Robbie not kill the boy? Seems as good a place as any. What was that? I got a piss. Seeing as how the suspect's been locked up all day, I imagine he's probably the same disposition. We're stopping here to piss? Seriously? Another 45 minutes till we get to the station, and I'm in no mood to shampoo my back seat. I think that's far enough, Wyatt. Far enough for what? Holy shit, what the fuck? What the shit, Clarence? Well, it seems the suspect got the best of you, deputy. He struggled to get free and managed to get a hold of your backup sidearm you keep holstered on your ankle. What the hell are you talking about, Clarence? Please, wait, I didn't. I had no choice. I had to put down that sodomizing child rapist just to save your life, Wyatt. I didn't touch no child, Sheriff. I only went to jail because I was dating the same boy through high school. His parents, they sent me away as soon as I turned 18. They said I was poisoning their baby. But we loved each other. I didn't touch no boy. We don't know if he did anything, Sheriff! Oh, he did it. Sure as I'm Sheriff, you're Deputy, and this here pervert's going to die, he did it. That's what the folks around here believe, and it's my job to bring them justice. You gonna pull a gun on me, boy? Stand up, sir. Are you gonna pull a gun on your fellow officer? Over this damn sodomizing child murderer? We don't know that! We don't know shit! We know he was holding him! That don't mean nothing! They know he did this. It is our duty to respect their wishes. What would you do, Wyatt? What if it was your wife, your baby, dead in the arms of another man? We'd do right by you, Wyatt. It's what we've done to protect these people. Those that don't, they get gone like a dizzy's limb. Are you saying my wife, my baby, you would? I'll take no pleasure in doing what I have to if you make this decision. Please, sir. I didn't do it. You gotta believe me, I didn't touch him. I didn't do this. Please. He's still alive, Deputy. Shush, shush, shush. Shush, shush, shush. It's okay, son. Mama, please. Please, Mama.
Welcome to Givensville, son. 